Intel ready for report. Double kill. Break on mission ready. Find a bastard. Triple kill. What's going on, guys? Logs here. Welcome back to Call the Vanguard Beta. The sun still hasn't been patched, but <laughs> we honestly need a, like a nerf to the sun. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but uh, we're playing 6v6 patrol on Eagle's Nest. And if you look at the top left, I have 240, 250 frames. And that's basically what I'm going to be talking about in this video is maximizing your frames for better gameplay for the v2 rockets you know making it easier on yourself instead of you know rocking 60 frames on pc if that's literally what uh you're stuck with because on console you can't really do much about it i mean you're kind of stuck with uh whatever your console is you know stuck at so you can't really help yourself there but on pc you have that ability to uh basically change your settings up a bit and make it easier on yourself when going for that v2 rocket dude how did i get a kill there got him through the wall oh no so i will say that on pc you have a much better advantage so all you console players out there i'm sorry it's just the truth pc players have an advantage they can do a lot more with their graphic settings they can do them a lot more in general but uh on pc oh my god dude what am i doing on pc Bruh. i have my settings all the way to like set to the low did i just what it won't let me it won't let me get ammo oh my gosh why you always pick up guns i guess on PC, I have all my settings set to the lowest. Oh no, did I just call my dogs? No. That was a complete accident, guys. I did not mean to call my dogs. For those of you who don't know, I don't call in dogs when I'm going for V2s because it counts your kills. And you can see at the bottom that my I'm getting more kills and I have no idea what my gun streak is on now. Oh well, we're in love with it. We're, we're not going to care too much. But yeah, man, giving you the highest frame rate possible is going to help when going for uh, these nukes. So definitely uh, be able to look up settings video. I can link one below. It's from a guy named Webzy, and he does an awesome settings video where he basically talks about how you can maximize your frame rate with the best settings. And it's not even just in-game settings. Like, this guy talks about how you can do it, like, outside of, like, just your settings in-game. Like, he goes into, like actual freaking settings outside of the in game settings which are really good see how it says i have a 30 kill streak that's that's a lie some of that's some dogs though it doesn't count i'm probably pretty close to the v2 but i just i just don't know if i die one off which i've already done like a couple times oh my gosh this is what I'm talking about, man. Why does this happen? Literally, aim assist. I sound like a PC nerd right now. Aim assist is cheating. Aim assist is broken. But also, not at all. I don't think aim assist is broken in this game. I really don't. I think uh, aim assist is right where it needs to be. Um, but it could be toned down maybe a little bit. But I don't think it's like to the point where like people are just easily beating you on controller. But hey, I play on controller. Maybe if I played PC, I would understand it. I just got a five on. There ain't no way he just killed me like that, dude. Hello. So I had a talk with my buddy Marvel about this topic, but basically movement, like slide canceling and all that. We were basically talking and uh, he was basically saying, like, asking me, do you think movement is very important in Call of Duty? Like, do you think movement takes skill? Um, I shouldn't say is important. Do you think it takes skill? Damn. And I basically said, you know, yes, it takes skill, like being able to move and slide cancel. It takes skill, but if you're matched up with someone with good movement versus someone with good aim, what is going on, dude? Was that the M19 from fucking Modern Warfare? Basically, I was saying if you have someone with good movement versus someone with good aim, I think good aim wins every single day. Like, you can be able to, like, you know, slide cancel and shit fast. I have no idea what's going on in this game. You could have someone like Joe Wo with insane movement, but unless uh, they're playing against, like, absolute bots, uh, someone with good aim is going to win. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Why are they all in the same spot? Like, they don't even move. 
Dude, 250 frames really helps out. And even if you don't have a monitor that can run 250 frames, like myself, like I, I, my monitor can only go to 160, not even 200, 165. Like my monitor refresh rate doesn't even go to 200, but it still feels nice having a, um, having settings, like having a PC that can run 200, you know? This game is just about over. I really dropped the ball. I think I could have had the V2 rocket if I didn't, uh, if I played this a little better. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, this is my five on actually. Oh. Bro, what? Yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that commentary. Let me know if you want me to talk about anything in the future. But uh, yeah, that was 250 plus frames or 200 plus frames on uh, Vanguard.